In this video, I am going to show you guys five tokens and coins that I am personally accumulating right now. I will show you where you can accumulate them and why I am right now buying them. Don't forget also to go to CryptoJobs.com if you want to go and work for companies like Bybit, Binance and even my own companies. All is there. But let's right now go into the top five tokens to buy right now. Crypto number one, no surprise, is of course Bitcoin. But don't stop watching. Let me explain to you why. Bitcoin is the godfather of all crypto. It is the number one crypto. It is the first cryptocurrency, the first blockchain, the most secure blockchain. It is the safest crypto investment you can possibly make out of all of the cryptocurrencies that are available out there. I am not a Bitcoin maximalist, but I am a Bitcoin monetary maximalist, meaning that I think Bitcoin is the best form of money in the world. And I don't think there is ever going to be a cryptocurrency that can replace Bitcoin as money. However, there are altcoins out there that can do things that Bitcoin can't, which means that there are opportunities to buy other things out there. And, you know, Ethereum can do things that Bitcoin cannot do, which is why I uh, suggest you diversify your crypto portfolio into other things as well. Let me go into crypto number two. The crypto number two is Polygon, also known as Matic. Personally, I really enjoy Polygon as an alternative to Ethereum. Many crypto games are building on Polygon. A great example of that is Medieval Empires is building on Polygon, but many others are choosing Polygon as their go-to blockchain because of their fast transaction. Polygon is a uh, user-friendly and well-designed platform and um, it's uh, for scaling and building infrastructure on Ethereum. So Ethereum is the underlying layer and then Polygon is a layer two on top of Ethereum. So it is not its own blockchain in that sense. There are many advantages of Polygon, of course, and um, it is an ERC-20 token, which means that it's compatible with other digital currencies that are also based on Ethereum and uh, Matic is a government's token on top so basically you have Polygon which is the name of the company of the chain and then you have Matic which is the token it's a governance token enabling other holders of this cryptocurrency to participate in the decision making processes for Polygon. Polygon offers a unique opportunity to users as it can be used to pay additional gas fees and can be staked on Bybit Earn, for example, to earn interest. If you want to go to Bybit Earn and stake your Matic, you can just click the link down below to Bybit. If you use my link, you can get $30,000 in bonus, which is absolutely insane. I can even show you exactly here. So you go to the finance section and then you click Bybit Savings. Then you scroll down to find Matic and then you can start staking your Polygon as a flexible saving option with one. 1.65% APY. I actually have a full Bybit Earn tutorial. You can go check it out. Link down below to that. It's very easy to make passive income on uh, Bybit if you watch that uh, video. So, of course, Polygon is a great investment in my opinion. It's just my opinion. It's not advice. Nothing I'm saying in this video is financial advice, but I'm telling you what I do, and I do hold a bunch of Matic. I do hold a bunch of Bitcoin. Let's go to the next one. Crypto number three is Ethereum. Ethereum almost goes without... Uh, saying it's, it doesn't even need an introduction it's like trying to introduce Michael Jackson you know why should I introduce something that you already know so much about but I will for sure tell you why I have a bunch of Ethereum in my portfolio so Ethereum of course it has proven itself to be a good store of value in crypto but I don't think it's necessarily supposed to be a store of value Bitcoin is a great store of value Ethereum is supposed to do other things than what Bitcoin is doing Ethereum has moved away from the proof of work concept that Bitcoin is built on to a proof of stake concept and so far that has turned out without any major complications and the announcement of the Shanghai upgrade on April the 12th means that users can now withdraw their Ethereum that has been locked up for nearly two years. This is noteworthy as approximately 16.5 million Ethereum are currently staked and investors can now access their profits. The positive aspect is that the withdrawal can be in small amounts which is significant as it will prevent a huge sale of Ethereum that could hurt the market potentially. But if Ethereum goes down in price, then in my opinion, we're just getting a better deal. Remember, we're looking for good deals here. So if Bitcoin goes down, we buy. If Ethereum goes down, we buy. 
if Matic goes down, we buy. And if you do want to buy, I suggest using Bybit or Binance or Bitflix. I have all three exchanges linked below this video. There's also another video you need to watch. I made a video where I show you how you can make $100 per day trading Ethereum. Link will be down below to that video or you can just go to my channel and you will find it very important, I think, to see that. One other big point about Ethereum to consider is that to purchase or trade Ethereum or to sell any NFT, you still require Ethereum to enable these transactions. The number four cryptocurrency is Cardano. It's a blockchain platform developed by Charles Hoskinson, a guy I've met myself and um, who is a very inspirational person and um, one of the legends in the crypto space. I I actually met him here at the Satoshi Roundtable in Dubai, which is the most elite crypto event in the history of crypto. We were sitting down and he was talking about uh, Cardano and the background about why Cardano and everything. So personally, I do have a very, very strong relationship with Cardano and I do hold Cardano myself. You can buy Cardano on Bybit, link down below. And if you use my link, you can actually get $30,000 in bonus and you can use that bonus to buy Cardano, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and so on. Why Cardano? A key advantage of Cardano is its utilization of a proof of stake consensus mechanism, which is significantly more energy efficient than proof of work employed by Bitcoin. But I don't think that proof of work is bad. I do think proof of work is safer and more secure. So sometimes you have to kind of choose between security, speed and uh, transaction fees and you cannot have everything perfect. It's like the blockchain uh, trilemma. Everything cannot be perfect. There is always going to be some compromises. Cardano is a proof of stake mechanism. Cardano is also a multi-layered architecture separating the computational and accounting layers of the platform, providing increased flexibility and scalability as well as enhanced security and resilience against possible hacks. Overall, Cardano presents a promising blockchain platform, in my opinion, that provides numerous benefits over the other cryptos that I'm mentioning in my videos usually. Its sophisticated technological capabilities in conjunction with its transparent and accountable development process position it as a strong contender in the crypto industry, in my opinion. I do hold Cardano myself. Crypto number five on this list is Chainlink. Chainlink has a very strong community and uh, the uh, Link Marines are there to defend Chainlink any day of uh, any week and any year. Chainlink is really a OG currency just like the other ones I've talked about in this video. It's been around for multiple years ever since I went into crypto which was back in 2017. The reason for Chainlink. Chainlink is a decentralized blockchain oracle network. This means that it can transmit real-world data to blockchain programs. Essentially, it serves as an intermediary that facilitates the rapid and secure connection between contracts and other significant data sources. As its name suggests, Chainlink functions as a bridge providing then smart contracts with the data they require and connecting all elements together. Programs may want to obtain external data such as stock prices, sports scores, and practically any data resources or any other API available. So Chainlink makes a, a big difference here in bridging real world to blockchain in a great way. Chainlink also has introduced a new feature known as the Proof of Reserve Protocol, which uses on-chain audits to automatically verify the reserves held by certain entities within the network. And without getting too detailed into these coins in this video, I mean, you can subscribe to my channel and I will do more detailed analysis on the individual coins. But in this video, I just wanted to show you what I am personally accumulating in this market. And if you want to buy any of these tokens or coins, link down below to Bybit and Bit. Flex and Binance, all three exchanges, you can accumulate these uh, tokens and coins. Just click the links down below. And um, also, there are some important videos that I want you to watch. I will link all those videos below this video right now. You can also take your finger and watch this video because in this video, I'm teaching you how to make $100 per day. Very important. Check it out. See you. Bye bye.